Along with the K20 and K20 Pro, Xiaomi launched another product, the Mi neckband Bluetooth earphones. Now that I've used this for a bit, in today's video, let's see if they are worth the $15.99 asking price. Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and if you do end up liking what you see, please don't forget to turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. So this is the box the Mi neckband came in, traditional Xiaomi orange here. We've got some of the highlights to the front, dynamic bass, voice assistant, Bluetooth 5.0. Xiaomi also boasts of 8 hours of playback time. The back has more detailed specifications, unsealing the box, pulling it out. Here's the Mi neckband, let's take the plastic off, take the earphones out, they feel really light in hand. Now beneath this we have yet another box, this one has the micro USB cable for charging and a couple of different sized ear tips. Finally, we have a user manual. So coming back to the Mi neckband, like I mentioned earlier, it feels super light, it weighs in at less than 14 grams. We have a rubberized neckband, plastic here on the sides and metal here on the earphones themselves. Now this neckband design comes with its own set of pros and cons. The pro is that when you take the earphones out, you don't need to put them in a carrying case. You can just let them dangle and these magnets are present so they do end up sticking together eventually. On the con side of things, if you run, these become really uncomfortable as the neckband tends to move around. I mean, neckbands in general are a big no for anyone who wants to run. It's not just this one, no matter what the brand is, neckbands are always a hassle if you're running. For all other usage scenarios, the Mi neckband earphones are pretty comfortable. But outside of comfort, there are a few things that I'd like to see changed. One, some kind of adjustment cable management for the wires here. That would have really been cool. Two, the magnets here don't cause the playback to stop or put the earphones to sleep. Now that's something I really enjoyed using with the Bullets Wireless 2, so maybe, you know, it's probably something I'd like to have on a wish list. Now number three, multi-device connectivity. Now this is pretty important. Despite having Bluetooth 5.0, the Mi neckband can only be connected to one device at a time. That's a little disappointing. Now that said, the range is impressive. I could walk around quite a bit with these headphones on, no interruptions, no connectivity loss. It was very stable. Now, before we move on to the buttons and functions, let's talk about the most important aspect of these earphones of this video, the sound quality. And I'm happy to say that the Mi neckband sounded really good. The bass is quite heavy given the size. The mids and highs were above average. The output was loud and clear. Overall, I'd say the sound quality here is good. And you can listen to music for as long as the battery lasts as there's barely any fatigue. The earphones are quite comfortable. But how long can you actually listen to? The 120mAh battery on the inside is rated for 8 hours at 80% volume. Realistically, you should expect about 6 to 6.5 six hours on a single charge. And it takes about 2 hours to charge these earphones, which is a little too long in my opinion. And by the way, it uses this micro USB port under that flap for charging. And near this micro USB port, we find the buttons. This is on the left hand side by the way. These buttons are clicky and raised and there's space between the power and volume keys. So identifying them and hitting them blind wasn't an issue. The power key also serves to pause and play the music as well as attend and end calls. Double pressing this key launches the voice assistant. The volume up and down keys also pull double duty as track skip keys on long press. Personally, I would have liked it the other way around. If track skip was the default and we got volume change on long press, Think about it for a minute, with the current setup, say you want to go back to the previous track. It takes a second for the long press to register and in this time the track already has started to play so you end up replaying the same song instead of jumping back to the previous one. I find having track skip by default and long pressing to control volume as the more intuitive choice. Then again, no complaints, it's just personal preference that I wanted to point out. Now we also find a LED indicator and a microphone here. Since the mic's closer to the mouth than with truly wireless earphones or on your headphones, the call quality is excellent. People at the other end had no issues hearing me even when the background got quite noisy. Talking about noise, there is no active noise cancellation here, but the sound seal is very good. The default ear tip, it fits me fine, and the included two alternate size options should help most people achieve a good fit. Even in noisy environments, I wasn't able to hear what was happening outside, even if the music was playing at just 50-60% volume. Another positive is, even if you are playing music at 100% volume, there's no sound leakage. People around you are not gonna hear anything. So finally, what's the verdict here? The Mi neckband are a nice pair of Bluetooth earphones that at 1600 rupees are quite wallet friendly. 
It's light, it's got Bluetooth 5.0 with excellent range and stable connectivity, outputs good quality audio and is excellent with calls and it's got above average battery life. Now that said, it is worth noting the cons. Namely, the neck band design isn't for everyone, it's not for all scenarios. The magnets don't pause the music, you can't connect to multiple devices, they take a little too long to charge and there is no active noise cancellation. Now if any of these cons here, they sound like deal breakers to you, then the Mi Neck Band earphones aren't gonna be the right fit for you. But if you feel these cons are okay, nothing major, and you're willing to overlook them, then at $15.99, the Mi Neck Band ends up being an excellent product, well worth the price tag. So there you go, my thoughts and experience with the Mi Neck Band earphones. Now it's your turn to let me know what you think about these. Uh, go on, head on over to the comments below, let me know. And with that, we get to the end of this video. Thumbs up, thumbs down, based on whatever you felt about it. Subscribe, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech. And I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.